By the end of the year 2020, all South Korean government websites should stop using ActiveX. Most of them, including banks, have already migrated to a different system. But maybe the solution is worse than the problem. 안녕하십니까? Nicolas입니다. And today we are going to talk about why ActiveX was such a bad idea made with the best intentions and why some of the websites that are migrating from ActiveX and replacing it with something new might be making a mistake again. So first, let's talk about ActiveX and why was it created. ActiveX was created by Microsoft long time ago, back when browsers couldn't do many things. It was created as a way of basically adding more functions to the browser, as a plugin system, but it was incredibly insecure by design. So to understand how insecure it was, first let's understand how security works today on the browsers. If you go to my website, nomadcollars.co, your browser is going to execute the code that I wrote there. But my code is limited to what it can do in your computer because the browser is running my code on an isolated sandbox. Okay, that means that my code doesn't have the ability to access your files. I cannot read your files, I cannot delete files, I cannot create files, I cannot do anything. I can only do what the browser allows me to do. And this is very, very good because every time you go to a website, you are executing somebody else's code in your machine and you have to have some protection around that. And thankfully, the browser protects you. That means that every time you go to a website, yes, you are running somebody else's code, but the browser is protecting you and that code is isolated and it cannot do many things. The problem with ActiveX was that the code on an ActiveX control could run without any limits. So that means that I could go to a website, I could install an ActiveX control, and then that code could run with no limit whatsoever. It wasn't limited by the browser. I could delete, install, change, whatever I wanted on the computer. And that was incredibly, incredibly dangerous. And this is why many viruses were spread using ActiveX. Because people used to go to a website, they see the website is broken, they see a pop-up that says, please install this to make the website better. They install the thing and that thing runs without limits. That is incredibly dangerous. Now, thankfully, we are moving away from ActiveX and now ActiveX is going to die with Internet Explorer that's it, because Microsoft didn't bring ActiveX to the new Microsoft Edge, which is good news. But the problem is that many companies used to use ActiveX before. And instead of going to the open web, which is standards, HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, HTTPS, and all those things, those companies have moved to basically an ActiveX version 2. So now if you go to a website, sometimes you will see that they have to download an, that .exe file in your machine. And as a Wegugin, when I first came to Korea, I was really, really surprised by the amount of things you have to install to be able to run a website. And this shouldn't happen on the year 2020. We have JavaScript, we have CSS, we have HTML, we have HTTPS, we have so many things that yes, we didn't have before, but now we have them. The problem with installing that .exe files is very, very big. First of all, the more programs you have in your computer, the more security holes you are going to have. So installing something doesn't really make your computer more secure. It actually gives you more chance of being hacked. Because again, the more software you have, the more holes that software could have. The second problem that this causes is the fact that people are used to installing things all the time without questioning where does it come from. And this is incredibly dangerous in the world that we live right now. People could literally make a website that looks like a bank and they could tell you, oh, please install this firewall 2.0 safety.exe. And many people will fall for this and many people will install. Because unfortunately, people don't care about what they have to install. They just want to be able to buy the tickets on the website. But they can't. They have to install, accept, next, install, accept. And this is incredibly dangerous. This is like a hacker's paradise. I could make a website, I can pretend that I'm legal, and I say, oh, sorry, please install this that .exe file to make my website work. And what happens? I make a Trojan, I make a keylogger, I can steal your information. It's insane. Also, the problem with this approach is the fact that the Basically, the websites don't take any responsibility for their systems. Basically, they put every security duty to the user. They say, okay, you have to secure your computer to access our website. And this is not what happens in other countries. In other countries, banks don't make you download loads and loads of software to be able to log in. You just don't. 
the bank is the one that should be secure by default. The bank should be able to handle all sorts of attacks, not the user. So just pumping the user full of software just basically relieves the website, the responsibility of being secure. And this is, I think, the most surprising thing I've seen as a Wegugin when I came to Korea. The amount of things you have to download, and the amount of things you have to install. Now, the good news is that some websites are now going also away from this. And there are websites where you don't need to download things to be able to log in. There are websites that are going with open standards. And and this is the way to go, following the standards, following the open web. The reason why Korea was stuck with ActiveX for so long is because Korea made their own encryption standard and they could only enforce it using ActiveX while the world moved into an open encryption standard. Now this shouldn't happen again in Korea. I hope it doesn't go to the same place again of making their own ecosystem that only they use and without following the other standards. On this channel, we talked about why browser sucks, why Flash died, and it was always because it was closed source, because always people didn't want to innovate and because they didn't follow the open standards. Thankfully, like I said, some websites are not like this anymore and we should support these websites, the websites that allow us to just basically live in the 21st century without downloading our computer full of drugs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. I don't know, I just wanted to make this video because I really like cybersecurity and I really like viruses and stuff like that. So yes, this touched me deeply because I was very surprised about the amount of software you have to download. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Saranghyo. Bye bye.